Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Very respected Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Dignitaries, Ambassadors, Religious Leaders, It gives me immense pleasure to be here today, and I must thank uh, Saudi government, Spanish government, and uh, Austrian government for the wonderful initiative which, is, which we see right here in front of us. And I wish this initiative goes a long way because it is much needed as of today in the current scenario we are facing the problems in the world. Let me talk a little bit about Pakistan. Pakistan, generally known as a patriarchal and pluralistic society. We have around a population of around 180 million, but most of the 180 million people are Muslims. We have around 96.8% Muslim population, and that leaves a little more than 3% of um, the minorities, as we call it in Pakistan which comprises mainly of Christians, and then Hindus, and then many other religions are represented, but in small number. Looking at that scenario, we have many schools in the country which do not have any student other than uh, a Muslim student, but at the same time, we have many schools in the country which have uh, more than 50% students coming from other religions. So far, we did not have uh, many problems in integration between the religions, and uh, things have been going on pretty well at that front. We have quite open uh, system of education, and the Constitution protects the rights of minorities, and the very teachings of Islam also emphasize the need for respecting the views of others. There are many educational institutes which are being run by Catholic Church and by other religious institutions. To be more precise, more than 550 uh, Catholic schools are there, and then similarly, many other institutes are run by some foreign governments, some other uh, religious identities, some Hindu institutes. So, and, and uh, to share with you, I also got my primary education from a Catholic uh, church school uh, in which most of the teachers were either foreign and, and they came from the convent. And, but things are pretty okay at that front. But when we go along and we see that wherever and whenever there are problems within the society, between the faiths, between the religions, we see that the level of tolerance is quite less. And to cater to that problem, the government of Pakistan has introduced many measures. The tolerance level must be increased. The respect for other religions must be inculcated in our curriculum in the very basic education of the children. For that, in 2006, major school revisions in curriculum were uh, implemented. And uh, those uh, curriculums, previously, the curriculum mostly talked about just Islamic examples of inculcating values and morals into the uh, daily life or into the upbringing of a student. But now they also talk about good examples from other religions, quoting other religions as well. Government has declared uh, a day for the minorities in Pakistan, and now the new government of uh, Mian Nawaz Sharif uh, which we have taken charge a few months ago. We plan to uh, make this day celebrated into schools as well. There are certain examples in schools because uh, previously in, in some areas of Pakistan we have more Hindu populations and, and the schools which had more Hindu children, they would celebrate Diwali in the, the public schools especially I'm talking about. And in some areas we have more Christian population and, and the schools which had more Christian students they would celebrate Christmas as well. And that day would be celebrated bringing all the students, all the uh, religions of, uh, together. And, uh, but we want to make it a regular feature in, across all the schools in Pakistan, highlighting different religions, highlighting different cultures, highlighting different uh, sets of uh, beliefs around the world, 
and so that students can understand it in a better way. Similarly, we also have many university exchange programs around the globe. We, the new government is trying to enhance these programs as well. Many interfaith um, organizations have been made which are working in the universities, they're working in the cities, and which are working to bring uh, the people of different faiths uh, more close. And whenever we have a problem with, because there have been efforts and most of the people in Pakistan believe that uh, there's more external uh, influence on those, but uh, there's some intolerance in the society as well, I must admit. But whenever there's any problem with any sect or any religion in the country, we see that all the religions, all the churches, all the institutes, they come together in supporting uh, and in, in joining their voice against such problems. Um, well, I would like to um, wish this center a very happy and very concrete way forward. Uh, I would like to see the concrete examples uh, come up, especially for, to be included in curriculum all across the world for all the countries. These suggestions should be jointly formulated and they should be circulated so that the member countries could follow them. And uh, let me reiterate that education is the way to go. Education is needed to build sustainable development, but whenever there is no tolerance, all that development comes to ground. So let's have a more tolerant society. Let's help each other in understanding each other. Let's teach tolerance and respect for diversity. Thank you very much.